Now that we're familiar with a children and descendants in CSS, let's talk about inheritance in CSS. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to write a div, and I'm going to say class, right? Well, actually, you know what, let's skip the class. We just have a heading 1 over here, over here, and I'm going to say I am heading 1 over here, and then we're going to have paragraphs, right? So we're going to have B, and we're going to have lorem. And we're just going to copy and paste this, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, right? Or, well, in this case, 4. Anyway, so we have four of them, right? And then we go back to main CSS, and then we're going to target the div, right? We're going to say div, and we're going to say font family, right? So we're going to say font family over here, right? And we're going to say that this is going to be like monospace, right? And you can see right away what happened, right? That all of them actually got this property. And that's actually called inheritance because what happens is there's properties that are actually inherit from their parents, right? So there's going to be font family, right? We, usually what happens, we go to the body, right? Over here like this. And we say property, font family, font family. And we just say, let's say, I don't know, again, we're going to use monospace, right? But what's happening is that all the elements, you can see they still keep it, right? Over here, right? We go to index HTML, we remember that all of the elements are children of the body, not direct children, descendants, right? So this would be a direct child, and then over here, these are descendants, but they still, they're the parent element is the body, right? So in the main CSS, if we target the body, right, it's the easiest way for us to add like a font family. Now there's going to be some properties that are not going to act like this, right? So here again, I'm going to use the border property. I'm going to say two pixels, right? And let's say solid, I don't know, whatever, red, right? So now I can see that not all of them elements, only the body right now has this property, right? Because that property is actually not inherited, right? So there's going to be properties that are going to be inherited from the parent, and there's going to be properties that actually only the parent is going to have. Otherwise, it's going to be quite messy if all of them, let's say, would have a border of two pixels red.